another incredible silver and gold warning, America. The Spaniard strikes again with three ultimate lessons. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I got a letter from Raphael, actually my second letter. If you haven't watched the video from Raphael where I read his first letter he sent me, you gotta stop right now and check it out, right now, okay? It has over 101,000 views. It touched so many people and I don't want you to miss it, okay? So check that out because this is the response um, to my reply to Raphael. He writes, Dear Yankee, I am Raphael writing to you again. First of all, I want to tell you that you cannot imagine how honored I felt when you decided to read my letter in one of your videos. And I could not believe the amazing impact it had on the people who watched it. I had been reading lots of commentaries and I have to say that people are awesome. While I am writing these lines, the video has around 100,000 views. Um, as you promised, I have just received the package with the silver coins you gathered for me. I have no words to describe how I feel and how amazing your community is. I want to thank all of you for this gesture. Most of this came from you, viewers that were touched by the uh, generosity that Raphael shared with me and wanted to give back. So I waited as long as I could for everything to arrive and sent it out to Raphael. Okay, let's, let's read on. <laughs> I love all the coins you sent me. The American Silver Eagle from 2020 is a very special piece for me. It represents the ideal of liberty. And this year is going to be one remembered, to be remembered for a long time because of many things that have happened. Yes, that is very true. I had to pay 40 euro, over $47 of import taxes. The declared value was $120. So is a that's a tax of about 40%. <laughs> not too bad, he says sarcastically. If this is not a robbery, I do not know what it could be. Well, it is socialism, my friend. You have a guy there who calls himself another overtaxed taxpayer. I'm guessing a lot of you out there know who that is. Oh, man. Do not even think about living here. <laughs> you know, this is the first lesson that I want to uh, you know, highlight from Raphael. We do not want to end up like the EU when it comes to taxes. Their income tax may be less on average than what we experience here in the States. You can, you can see right here uh, this interesting graph that shows the differences between a European tax system and one found in America. Yeah, their income tax is less, but their VAT or value-added tax, sales taxes, if you will, their employee and employer payroll taxes are insane. And this burden that they bear falls heavily not on the wealthy, but on the lower and middle class. That a poorer European making just $40,000 a year pays over $6,000 more than their U.S. counterparts. And folks, if we Americans let this continue, we're going to be in the same boat very shortly. And, and don't leave in the comment below the loaded statement that the rich need to pay their fair share. They do pay their fair share. You know, the top 10% of income earners in the United States pay 70% of the tax burden. That is more than their fair share, in my opinion. That's the first lesson here. He goes on. In any case, I am very happy with this gift and it has an enormous emotional value for me. It is something I will always keep and remember with care. When my children grow up, I'm going to use these coins to teach them about the importance of saving, the difference between real and fiat money, the love of freedom, 
how awesome your community is, and the unlimited greed of politicians. I do not know if you agree with me, but I think that we should not let the state educate our children, especially about financial and ethical issues. Oh man, oh, I agree with you 100%, Raphael. In fact, that that is the second lesson here, okay? Teach your children. Folks, wisdom is not genetic. It takes training and discipline. It takes a, a, a parent, a, a, a mentor, a leader, someone to help our next generation learn the lessons that he talks about. He's absolutely right. We can't let the state take that job. Use your stacking expertise. And even if you don't have any kids, teach one other person the difference between you know fiat currency and real money. The difference between a debt-based lifestyle and one that is a savings lifestyle. Saving for a rainy day. Saving because it's important. And help people learn to appreciate the stacking community that we have, especially on YouTube and Instagram. All right. Here in uh, Spain, the government is trying to control everything, directly or indirectly. They control education, health services, mass media, economy as far as they can, labor unions, retirement, and even justice. I would like to write a brief allegation about liberty. If you ask people if they want to be free, almost all of them will answer yes, but very few will have the courage to fight for it. Unfortunately, too many people have died and rivers of tears and blood were shed to reach the freedom we have today. Liberty is something very hard to obtain. Oh, I love this, guys. I, I, in fact, I, I'm going to zero in on this. Listen, liberty, and this is from a Spaniard, folks, okay? Not an American. Liberty is something very hard to obtain, but it is really easy to lose. Do you know why? Because you only have to do nothing and it will dissolve like a lump of sugar in a hot cup of coffee. Every step the government takes against your liberty, no matter how little it is, is a step that is not going to go back anymore. That, that's the third lesson here, folks. We need to guard our liberty. I mean, really, people. The, Raphael says it so beautifully. It only takes a generation to take liberty for granted and let the gradual steps take their toll and it's gone. Just, just like a lump of sugar and a, and a cup of hot coffee. I love that. <laughs> oh, man. So be careful. A warning. Europe is old and decadent. It was a slow process, and I sadly think that there is no turning back. USA was the first country which was born free, and there you still have something that was destroyed too many years ago, and it is a civil society. You must protect it because it's a warranty of a more free society. Wow, can't you just feel that, that admiration there for what we have? In my opinion, the U.S. is our last hope to maintain the Occidental culture. Occidental, Western culture, it means. Communities like yours are really necessary. I wish I was wrong, but hard times are coming. Take care of your families. That's so true. I, you know, I'm, I'm a realist. Okay, he is spot on. Hard times are coming. Times that I don't think any of us living have ever experienced. Finally, I have to express again my gratitude about the coins you sent to me. I have to say, in spite of the ocean and worse, the customs. Oh man, if I had known that you were going to have to pay that much, dude. I am so sorry. 
All right, despite all that that separates us, you have made me feel part of your great stacking community. No, it's not uh, of my great stacking community. It's ours, Raphael. You're part of it now. <laughs> you have touched my heart and I cannot put into words how grateful I am. This is something I would never forget. I really appreciate it. God bless America and I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> sincerely, your sincerely, Raphael. P P D or P.S. I guess that's what it means. I passed my English exam and now I have a B2 level by Cambridge University. Dude, congratulations with that. That is awesome. And thank you, Raphael, for again, blessing us with another letter. Those words, they're like a beacon of light during these tough times and a warning against those who would destroy what has made the USA so great. Show your appreciation for Raphael's letter by hitting the like button. Really, guys, do it right now. Hit the like. I'm sure he's going to be watching this video, and I think you'd really appreciate uh, you know, you know, the liking and leaving a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and like Raphael says, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.